What's up, YouTube? Angry Jackal up here, Rob Briggs. Uh, I recently had a question posed to me. Why did I get on YouTube? And I could have tried to type it out in the comment, but I think it's a valid question. So, um, I love YouTube. I've been consuming content off of YouTube forever and a day. And when I started to get into knives and stuff, I stumbled onto Prepare My 101's uh, channel. And I think the very first video I saw from him was demonstration on ferro rods. And there was one particular ferro rod he was just showering shit with. And I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. And uh, there were a few other YouTube channels that I'd be watching. And, you know, there'd be a lot of research that I'd be doing. And I had a few knives and I had a few pieces of kit that I had around the house and uh, friends would come over and we'd be talking about preparedness. We'd be talking about different things to keep ourselves alive if you get uh, a shit hits the fan scenario. And whenever we started talking about gear and things of that nature, they got, ex they were like, dude, you're, you love this shit. You get all excited. Well, look at this. Well, look at this. Look at it. You know? And I'm like, yeah, 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 I do. I fucking, I love, I love, I love the equipment. I love gadgets. I love things that, you know, I, I just enjoyed it. And they were like, dude, you should probably make like YouTube videos or something. I'm like, damn, Skippy, that probably wouldn't be a bad idea. It'd probably save me from having to repeat myself over and over and over again. And then I, I kind of looked and saw there was a pattern with a lot of the reviews so you had like um, uh, Chris Thorne's hands down, here's the camera, here's the hands, here's pointing, talking about stuff, reviewing it, the specs, really knowledgeable. And I was like, cool. And there was every so often he'd do some kind of a demo and you would see shit getting chopped and stuff. And I thought, okay, that's, that's a little entertaining. You know, it's good information. Um, but I, I think maybe I could do better. And then I looked and I was watching Prepared Mind stuff and I was like, yeah, I think I could bring a different, a different element to it. And then I'd be watching, oh God, what is his name? Uh, oh shit, I forgot his name. Anyway, there's another guy. He's heavy on his specs, like he's heavy duty on his specs. Here's this, here's the specs and stuff, and then some, some review stuff. And I thought, man, I would like to, to bring some really craziness and just go fucking bananas with it. Just have a fucking good time with it. You know, not watch my language. Do whatever the hell I feel like doing and see what happens. And it was fun because <clears throat> the other the other aspect of it was I figured, you know what I'll do is I will do a bunch of conspiracy shit. I will bring up stuff like 9-11 you know, I'll bring up Kennedy. You know, I'll just talk about a lot of stuff. And we'll touch on the Illuminati. You know, all these different things. To which my wife said, fuck no, you're crazy. Don't bring that shit up. Because, you know, if if you do draw too much attention, man, we got kids. I'm like, fuck, you're right. Um, it was going to be a rant show. You know, I was going to have rants. I was going to have product reviews. And then I hadn't really thought any further than that. That was pretty much it. That's That's all I had. Envision. Then, what really made me pull? So I created the channel. I created the channel and and, and had uh, had some some blades and stuff around, but I hadn't really figured out what I was going to do. And then I saw Sly Steel's Shark Tooth Tactical, and I got a chubby. I got a serious chub chub. And was like, holy shit. Oh my God. So I reached out to Sly Steel and ended up having a conversation with uh, Oliver. Now, I had not had a single video out. But I told him what I wanted to do. And he was like, well, shit. I'll get you a blade. You know? And I told him I wanted to buy one. I was trying to buy one. I was trying to buy one. So he says, okay, 
if you're going to review the tactical, I'd like you also to review the hunter. And I said, well, I can't afford both. And he was like, well, I'll send you the hunter since you're buying a tactical, since you're going to do reviews on it. And so I got it. I got both blades and I fucking pooched and didn't jump on it right away. And I think I was the second person uh, to review the slide to tactical. And that video is really horrible to go back and watch now because I've, I've come a long way in the production of these, these videos, but I still like, I still leave it up and I will because it's fun. You know, it's fun to go back and look at it, but, uh, I did that. Then I had some quartermaster blades. Then I had some zombie tool stuff and you know, it, it just, it just kind of evolved. Then I had the whole thing where I was worried about my memory uh, fading, and so I did story times, which is this right here, and you guys really seem to enjoy those. And then I started evolving even more. Memory started to get resolved. I got that under under control now, so I'm good with that. Uh, I still have a few health issues, but nothing nothing that's seriously out of the ordinary that I can't deal with. And the show has just kind of changed, and here we are, past a thousand subscribers, and. I'm loving it. I'm, I don't have any plans on stopping. I plan on expanding the show, doing more crazy shit. And that is how I got into YouTube. So I hope, hope that answers that question. All right, guys, that's it for this. If you like it, like it, please subscribe. Tell all your friends. Until next time.